good morning so it is just about eight o'clock in the morning and i'm here at the train station in tashkent i'm trying to get tickets to uh, go on my big big adventure um, so the plan is to go from tashkent all the way to Khorazam which is about 15 to 16 hours according to Google uh, but um, uh, some other form says that it's about uh, 12 to 13 hours and um, from there I'm gonna make my way back visiting every city uh, back to Tashkent before leaving the country this is my train station right there Uzbekistan, Taimur, something Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to film inside. Um, most likely not. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get the ticket, show it to you guys, and go on with my plan to go all the way to Khorazam, which is, again, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna find out when I get in um, how long it's gonna take. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Oh my goodness, finally got the ticket. It is such a hassle to get this ticket. It's unbelievable. Like you go there and it's not even the, the, the time I wanted. The, the time I wanted, four o'clock, it was completely sold out. And I end up getting the nine o'clock train that will arrive um, in, in, um, in Khawarizm, uh, Khorazam, in Khawarizm at um, 11 a.m. the next day. But it's such a hassle. I was talking to someone in there and, and I was told that as soon as the, the train becomes available, uh, certain people will buy all the tickets and then they will resell them to the train company that will end up selling them at a higher price. So they make a profit from you know buying all the tickets at once and then resell them to the same train company. Um, it is so weird the way they do it. And um, you know, that, that, and there's no organization whatsoever it's like like you don't stand in line and wait until you get your your turn you just have to hustle and and you know try to make sure that you know you're talking to the right people in there it's so crazy in there uh, but finally got the tickets it's about 8 30 and i'm about to um go to the train I mean, I am by the train station. Hopefully you guys can see me. Um, and this is the train station. This is where I came earlier today to get the ticket. And um, yeah, so now I'm actually going on the nine o'clock train. Hopefully you guys can see me, but um, I got my bed ready. Pillow, pillowcase, and my jacket. Just in case. And a sheet. And I am ready to go to bed. As you can see, the train is moving. There's like a lot of people on me. <laughs> so I'm not really comfortable taking videos of myself and them. Uh, but so far, nobody says anything. Apparently it's not uh, 14 hours, it's actually 16 hours, uh, so we still have 6 more hours to go. We just stop here for a bit in this station. Azur station. I'm so tired, it's unbelievable. Um, I mean, the ride was fine. Um, the train is comfortable. You don't, you don't even feel that, but like I have a problem sleeping 
on planes or trains or cars or anything that is moving. But um, yeah, looking forward to um, getting to Khorazam. Khorazam? Khorazam, yeah, that's, that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Khorazam. Looking forward to that. There we go. Just arrived to Urgens. Urgens. I don't know how you pronounce it. Urgens. And the train is leaving. I gotta find me a place to stay for the night and then continue my journey to the furthest part of Uzbekistan right next to Turkmenistan I'll see you guys later I'm gonna point the camera toward me because I don't know how those people react Nobody, nobody's approaching me yet oh here you go he just, he just said taxi so I'll see you thank, thank you Okay, so I got this room It cost about 40 bucks per night So I'm just gonna stay here for a night and then tomorrow I will decide What to do, but for now I need to take a shower eat and rest for a little bit before I go and explore this city and work on my other plans. I'll see you guys later.